guys and welcome back to the channel so Today is Friday and we are at the Dollar Tree standing in this long line. Hey, give me a thing that you, uh, cream that you got for your uh, that you gave me for my neck. <laughs> At the Dollar Tree, we came here to get a Mother's Day card so that I could put a Mother's Day card in the mailbox. Um, I did come out yesterday. It's a very best way. It's Legos. Mm, no, that's small pieces. We came out yesterday, um, but had to come back out today, and I wanted to get Libby out of the house, so because she's been stuck in the house, so I had to get her some fresh air. So I got her with me. You want to the vlog killer? You guys, so we made it back home. Um, we went out for Mother's Day cards and came back with a whole lot of whole lot of. So let me tell you my thoughts about this because we are going into May and the stores are stocking up a little bit. You know, they're getting better with stocking up, but this whole pandemic has really changed how I plan to shop. Um, when I was looking at my stockpile, you guys know that I just started building a new stockpile. So when I went and looked at my stockpile, I noticed that I had a bunch of smell good stuff like multi-purpose cleaners and all that jazz, dishwasher liquid and everything, but none of it was antibacterial. So my goal um, is to, as far as my stockpile is concerned, is to add more antibacterial virus killing type of products. Um, so anyways, I did go out yesterday. Um, I had to go to the post office and I also went to Dollar Tree yesterday. Um, you guys saw that I have been selling those Atlanta Braves flags. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree to see if they had some more and they did. So I picked a bunch of those up and then I grabbed a few things while I was there. I also went to the Dollar Tree over here by my house. I grabbed a couple of things there and I went back today. Um, you guys already saw that earlier in the video um, just to kind of get Olivia out the house. Um, because she's been in the house and so she needed some fresh air. But while I was there, um, we did pick up some more stuff. So I want to go over with what we, you know, everything that we actually got. Um, this side is the Dollar Tree side. So this is just a, you know, um, items from three, a total of three stores. And I'm not going to do like a grocery haul or food haul or anything like that. I'll just kind of show you what we got yesterday and then I'll tell you what we're eating for dinner here in a little bit. But I did want to show you guys this. Um, um, so this side is Kroger and this side is Dollar Tree. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, so they did have some wet ones, antibacterial hand wipes at Kroger. Um, so I just got four of those. I mean, they weren't on sale or anything. I didn't have a coupon. There was no digital coupon for it. They were $2.97. But at this point, they had just opened up a box when I saw these. And by the time I made it back around to that aisle to see if maybe, you know, to maybe pick up one or two more, um, they didn't have any. So I was glad I was able to get the four. But these are 20% more wet ones, antibacterial wipes in the fresh scent. Kills 99.99% .99 of germs. So, and there's 48 wipes. Um, so these are going to stay in the closet for now. But I'm going to put one in my book bag. Um, when I leave the house, that way I always have one with me. Um, let's see, I did pick up some soap, you guys. I already told you guys how I felt about antibacterial stuff that now I have an appreciation for. When I do see it, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because, you know, I think not being able to actually go out and get what we need has taught me a lesson that I need to shop differently and, you know, when I see something, then I need to go ahead and get it then. 
just in case okay so i did pick up two more um bars of or two more packs of the dial soap um i did get some airwick plug-in refills so the only reason i got these um the husband he's a real big stickler like he loves the plug-in stuff to me honestly it's kind of like a waste of money because they say it lasts up to about 60 days or however many days but it just doesn't seem like it actually lasts that long right um so anyway but that's his thing um i don't knock it but i did have a kroger digital coupon for the airwick twin pack it was a buy one get one free and these are 549 in my store so you know um got that and then i also had an airwick of the air freshmatic um refills so these are also $5.49 in my store, and the coupon was for a buy one, get one free. Um, I got these. The only reason I got these was because I had a coupon that was buy four, get two free. But then there's an Ibotta save two when you buy five. So you have to buy five of them and then save $2. So was, I paid basically $2 for six things of, of Renews It. So that's a pretty good deal on that so that is it that i got from kroger with the exception of food that i got yesterday and some toilet paper but we all know what toilet paper looked like so i didn't put that up here but i did want to share you guys if you wanted to keep a lookout for these wet ones at your store see if they have it if they do have it don't wait until the deal comes out go ahead and grab them that is another thing that i'm thinking too like you know on certain items i don't necessarily it's cool to wait around because i'm a couponer so it's cool to wait around for a deal but in a pandemic sometimes you can't wait around for the deal you know sometimes you just have to go ahead and get it while you can so let's move over here to the dollar tree and let's just go through everything here so we'll start from the back here they had just this one bottle of fab fabric fabric i can't talk today fabric freshener or fabric refresher um i normally get the dollar tree brand but they had just this one it was the only one that they had and it was just sitting random on a whole nother shelf so i went ahead and got that i don't know what it smells like or i couldn't smell it in the store because i have my face mask on um, but I've been hearing pretty um, positive reviews about it as far as the scent on other Dollar Tree haul videos. So got that. They had this, which is a new item. Um, it's Ajax. It's not antibacterial, but I just wanted to just get it and try it out. Um, it's charcoal and citrus. So it strips grease guaranteed and yeah, cleanses and deodorizes. Um, they had this big old ball of bath fizz it's the big fizz rainbow sherbet scented by spa life it's 16 ounces so i thought that, that was pretty cool um so i picked up actually picked up a couple of those um so but i only put one on the table um they did have a few bottles of palm olive antibacterial uh dishwashing soap so i am low on antibacterial dish liquid i have other dish liquid but they're not antibacterial so i'm low on that these were a dollar at kroger they are a dollar 19 at cvs i think they are a dollar 29 if i'm not mistaken but they had these and this is the 20 cent 20 percent more so i got two of those um and so for ebay when i have items where i'm peeling off the price tag or something it leaves that little sticky stuff behind um i got this the, it was my first time seeing this. It's the Goo Gone. So it's goo and adhesive remover. So I got that for my eBay business. Um, they did have this, which was a new item. Suavitel Complete. I remember when these first came out. They, they didn't make them in this size, but I guess they started making them in this size. So I did pick up two of those just to try it out. Um, for the honey, I got him some more of this Dove Men Care. Um face hands and body cream so I got him two of these he already has one in his book bag with him now um, and then there's one in the closet so he's got two extra ones now this is not antibacterial however I do really really love this scent um, I just got it because I love the scent and they finally had some at the Dollar Tree so for this I'm just gonna probably use this on my floors you know in the hallway when I'm mopping the floors and stuff just for the aroma 
um so i needed this this is for my ebay business as well i don't have any poly bags um and i'm low on the ebay poly bag so i normally put items inside these storage bags as extra protection so i got that for my ebay business um you guys remember i said i was going to pick up one of these every time i went so these are the emergency candles i'm going to throw this in a stockpile um needed some more tape for my ebay business this is a writing pad i've been looking for one with um more than one magnet strip or a thick enough magnet strip so that it actually sticks to the refrigerator and not slide down um so lately since i've you know we've been home all day um i go in the kitchen all the time so while i'm in there and i notice that i need to add something to the grocery list um so that i don't forget by the time i go to the room and write it down i'll just write it on here so that's why i got this to make my grocery list or pre-grocery list um, before a final grocery list so I got that Olivia saw this chalkboard and these chalkboard markers so um, it's cute it's a little you know it sits up like that and she can write on it so she got that uh, which I think is pretty cool and so these are by craft decor and they're basically i mean it's wet erasable mess and dust dry free i mean mess and dust free and it's a chalk writer so it's great for chalkboards dry erase boards windows glass mirrors ceramic and metal so she picked up blue green and pink so i don't know what she's going to do with that but that's what she wanted so i got it um the small removable hooks that I got in my last haul they're too small I was trying to use them to hang up my broom over there but the um the hook wasn't big enough so I ended up getting this which are removable hooks so the main purpose of going to the Dollar Tree was for these cards I don't know how much they were I don't know if they were two for a dollar if they were a dollar a piece but I got my mom one and my mother-in-law one so those would be going out in the mail uh, well the mail has already run no they'll be in the mailbox tomorrow morning so when the mail runs tomorrow which was Saturday um, they'll be already on the way to their homes for my eBay business bought some more bubble wrap Olivia likes jerky so she picked that up and um, I found these two items so I am really really low on astrogen I use Seabreeze astrogen so I'm really really low on it and so I found these there is these are by Bolero and they're facial toners so they had one with watermelon and aloe for hydrating they're paraben free and color free and there's something floating in it I don't know if you guys can see that but anyway um and then the other one is cucumber and aloe so i'm gonna give these a try i got one of each to see which one i like the best um and for a dollar it's worth a try so you guys been hearing me rant about this whole school situation so this is what i found um on amazon i am gonna order a um a science and chemistry project book for Olivia so I'm gonna put that order in I think today um, but anyway in the meantime I got her a geography book and a reading in English so basically this is for grades four through six she's in the fourth grade so these are um, worksheets so you can make cop copies of them and there are 38 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a copy of whichever sheet i want her to do so that i can uh, so that i can reuse these because she's only in the fourth grade so i figure well i can probably reuse these all the way until the sixth grade right um and then english and reading so for now this will just be kind of incorporated into her schoolwork since she's not really getting a whole lot of it right now um so we're trying to fill in the gaps here you know um she also picked some other stuff up i don't the girl must have in her mind she must have had money because she was just putting stuff in the basket some of the stuff i had to put back i don't know 
what lotto she hit. But I just noticed that she was like walking around with stuff and then she'll just politely set it in the basket and keep it moving, you know, like it never happened. But I did let her keep these dolls, these doll dresses and the chalk set. So she picked out these five dresses for her Barbie dolls. I took one of her games away this morning, so she is on punishment right now, um, which I'll probably tell you guys about that in another video. But so right now she has no access to electronics, so she's going to be playing with her Barbie dolls. And so she picked out five items. Now she did, now that I'm thinking about it, she did have some money. Her dad gave her some money, so maybe she tricked me when we got to the register. Maybe she had me pay for it so that she didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, I think that I think she just hustled me out of some some doll clothes, but it's all good. But these are the ones she picked out. I think they're pretty cute. Um, we've gotten these before, not in this pack, but it was in a different pack. And I know she said the outfits normally fit, but the shoes she kind of has trouble with. So, you know, whatever, as long as it'll keep her occupied and off of the internet. And playing games I'm all for it I think that you know with this um, technology powered generation you know everything is online now you know kids forget how to do regular kids stuff like go outside and play color in their coloring book you know get creative they forget they're forgetting how to do that so I've got to you know balance it out for her she can't spend 12 18 hours playing a video game and that's it you know that can like no we're not doing that so anyways oh, I digress so this is what we got going on y'all